Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. Um, this is a reading that is dedicated to the beautiful sign of Cancer. Um, this is a general reading however so it might not resonate with everybody so please do um, take whatever resonates with you whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it just leave it aside if you feel as though it doesn't make sense to you you're not feeling comfortable with it then chances are that it's just not meant for you unfortunately um, but it does happen happens all the time this is a general reading that being said um, if you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefiltarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the information out on the different type of readings that I can offer you so it can be with your relationship, your questions, your answers. So that being said, we're going to begin this reading here um, and oh, if you have not yet subscribed though to the channel and you do enjoy it, please do subscribe. So. Now let's begin to the reading. So the reading here, I'm taking three different decks. I took three out. So this one is a psychic tarot. I have the romance angels and I also have the angel answers. What we're looking for here is the answer to do they still love me? So this is what we're gonna try and go get. We're gonna go and try and get a yes, try and get a no. Sometimes there's maybe, sometimes we're kind of in the limbo. So let's just cross our toes and our fingers and let's hope uh, that we're going to get the answer that you're looking for so let's turn these cards over i'm going to begin with the psychic tarot once again this is for the sign of cancer i have love i have rebuild and i have new vitality i have to tell you so far this is looking like a plus for you so let's go and check it out okay we're going to begin with the very first card because that's the one that came out first Let's get with the love. So love is all about relating, it's choosing, it's harmonizing, it's romance, it's having creativity. And very, very important, it's reconciliation. You need to take some time to examine your relationship with others as well as with yourself right now. Are you coming from a place of love? It's important to empathize, remain non-judgmental and love people for who they are. The same applies to your relationship with yourself. There's an opportunity now to bring your being into a harmonious whole. You need to forgive your faults and you need to rejoice in your perfect uniqueness. It may also be time to examine the choices that you make regarding matters of the heart. Now, are you choosing to have people in your life who support and empower you? Surround yourself only with those who encourage and sustain you and who push you or guide you to be all that you can be. This is going to help you to value yourself and raise your vibrations all the way up to that of unconditional love. Now there may also be an opportunity for a new romance, for improving an existing romance, or even for healing disharmonious relationships. You need to seize this energy and you need to take action. And if you're looking for some new romance, hey, make yourself available, make yourself open. You need to see it and you need to feel it in your life right now. And this is going to raise your vibration all the way up. It's going to attract the new love to you. And if you're looking to improve an existing romance, well, maybe it's time to be a little bit creative. I said that there was creative in this card here. A weekend getaway, a romantic dinner, or simply telling the person how much you love them and you appreciate them. To heal a disharmonious relationship, you need to open dialogue. You need to let the person know that you value the relationship and you want to improve it. So this is all about I honor myself as well as others by acting from a place of love, okay? So this is one beautiful card to begin the reading are, you know, do they still love you? We're going to go to rebuild because you're going to have to work a little bit on the uh, rebuilding here if you want this to work out. So this is about... It's about collapse, it's about expose, it's about creating, it's about pretense, revelations, and it's all about being aware of the situation. Now, the dynamics of a relationship can often be really quite complicated. And the longer you've been in a relationship, the more complex it can be. Relationships begin to grow, and they grow like many different layers, um, by consisting of joys, sorrows, honesty, and duplicity. All as these layers build one on top of each other, it becomes increasingly difficult to know what the core of the relationship is based on. So what once was love may now appear to be merely tolerance or even worse. Even in good relationships, you may find yourself growing apart from the person. In either case, the weight of these layers can cause a relationship to completely 
collapse. So now just may be a good time to start fresh with one or more of these relationships. Peel off the layers one by one, okay? Cut away any pretense and see what may be revealed. Find the core of the relationship and decide if it's still what you want and what you find attractive. And if so, discard all the old layers and consciously create a new commitment with this person. One based on truth, on honesty, and in love. Now, use the awareness gained by the exercise to steer your relationship, okay, on a clear and steady course. The same applies to rebuilding the relationship with yourself. You need to examine your many layers of joy, sorrow, successes, failures, and you need to think about how they're affecting your ability to love yourself and therefore to find love. Expose the false voices that tell you that you're unworthy and just silence them. It, it's just not important. Don't take care of that. When you do, your true value is going to be revealed. You need to rebuild your life around unconditional love for yourself and you need to invite in unconditional love from others. This is all about cutting to the core of the relationships and con consciously rebuilding them. Okay, that's what you need to do. You cannot, um, you cannot continue with you know the build, the construction that you had. It is just uh, you know it has failures in it. So you need to rebuild. We're going to move on to the final card of this reading, which is all about finding that new vitality after rebuilding and accepting the love, assessing the love situation. This is about re um, focusing, enthusiasm. It's about joy. It's a great potential to revitalize your relationships right now with others and with yourself. And this, by the way, rebuilding is with yourself also. Love is with yourself also. It's all, you know, with you and the partner. So you need to seize the energy, you need to infuse more warmth and enthusiasm into all of your relationships. You need to have fun with other people, you need to feel how this is going to lift your energy and spirits. This raised rate of vibration is going to assist you in improving your current relationships and bringing new relationships towards you if you know that is what you desire. You need to see your loved ones in a different light. For the time being, you need to set aside difficulties. You need to focus on humorous and loving aspects and you need to think of creative ways of more to add more laughter to your life. The more joy you add, the greater the energy level and the higher the vibration, it's going to bring you beautiful, renewed vitality. You need to let your relationship sparkle. Your spirit guides are ready to help you with this. You need to ask them for assistance so they can just shine back that beautiful energy back down to you. Um, so this is just fantastic, really, quite frankly. This is all going for the gold. What do they say over here? Over here we have love yourself first, so very, very important going with the love card over here is your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and you must love yourself before loving somebody else. So make sure that you do accept and love yourself. Um, staying optimistic, let's go into vitality. This is all about positive thinking and faith is going to bring you romance, it's going to bring you love, it's going to bring you a lot of positivity into your life. So you need to throw that up to the universe, ask whatever you, it is that you want, whatever it is that you're wishing for, and you need to rebuild. Okay, you need to rebuild that relationship that has some flaws. You need to do that to rebuild. You need to communicate clearly and you need to find some positive and peaceful resolutions. So there you go, my dear friends, Cancer. This is all good for you. So this is a yes, still love is still there. So that being said, this might not resonate with everybody. It's okay. If you would like a reading, romanceviltarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many blessings. Thank you so very much for being there. Um, if Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the following readings. Have a great day.